All right, let's roll it now because it is that time of a Sunday morning when it is always with some nervousness we do this one. Got a gut. Shake it off with the man shake. OK, even more nervous when uh, it's been lumbered with me to actually kick things off. But we know this is where you come into your own as well, uh, Lordo, because it's cricket season yes. coming up. And this is uh, apropos of nothing other than the dangers you face when you live near a cricket ground and the, uh, the trials and the tribulations you face when you're a bowler or a batsman. So let's have a look at this. Here's the bowler coming into bowl. Now have a listen to this for a hit. Whack. That's nice. That sounded nice. Listen. Oh, now that's obviously hit something. So what did it hit? Let's find out. Now I'm not entirely sure. It looked a bit like the Junction Oval, but there's no houses nearby. But um, if you live near a cricket ground, surely, <laughs> surely, I mean, you'd need to expect a, the odd ball or two. Don't simply the cricket. We simply the cricket theme here, TJ. Because I've got a breaking news on uh, a panel member who is selling his services brazenly and, and I think quite questionably to the highest bidder. Now, no. TJ, it's not you. I know that. Nathan Brown, it's not you, and <laughs> nor is it you either, Kane Corns, on your run, which <laughs> leaves me, you, Matthew Lloyd. And what I've been told, Matthew Lloyd, and you need to look down the camera here and tell our viewers, are you selling your services to the highest bidder to play cricket oh, no. and to do a sporty night and to sign autographs oh, and no. to take selfies and to make a lot of money as a cricketer over summer? I'm not selling myself out, but I, yeah, I'm playing a cricketer. <laughs> 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 so, TJ, I've heard he's got a number on it. I don't know what the number is. It's in the... Well, OK, well, let's, let's throw it up as a hypothetical. Well, so Let's go with 5,000. Well, <laughs> the Upper Conductor West Cricket Club would like to have you down there yeah. for a guest appearance. Yeah. What would that be costing? Oh, well, I don't speak about that here, TJ. But, um, well, the pitch I heard yeah. was, I'll play cricket, <laughs> I will do a sporty night for you, I will take photos... Be close uh, to I'll 10. <laughs> be close no, to no. 10. Close to 10. Yeah. Because he uh, fancied himself too as a cricketer, TJ. Remember the uh, the famous story where he was caught uh, off camera? Stewie Lowe's. If I ever make a hundred, it's what I want to do, I'll quit. And I got one last year. Stewie Lowe's son was bowling to me, just dropping spinners that short. And I was just getting under him and just <laughs> went, yeah, got 120. <laughs> but I've still kept going. <laughs> there you go. That's what, that's what, that's what you get for, that, that $5,000. And, right? and he's not just good with the bat. He's, he's pretty yeah. handy with the ball too. Oh, as, and as and as a racket too. Here we go. Yeah, I, oh. I, it's my favourite piece of vision. Um, now, there's a feud going on. It's been going on all year. It is with the Channel 7 Sports News Reader. It is with our man, Tony Jones, oh. the captain of the Sunday footy show. And I think, I, I'm, now this sounds nice, but I think there's a bit of an undertone, a bit of nastiness with this. With <laughs> Tim Watson's invite to you, TJ. Let's no. have a but you've uh, held out the olive branch and said, no problems, TJ, you can come as your plus one. Is, is that correct? 100%. 100%. I haven't heard from him at this stage, but the offer is there for him to take up if he wants to. Well, yeah, good man. man. <laughs> Stop trying to drive so a wedge between me and he Tim. He got an invite. He got an invite. You didn't get an invite. But <laughs> should you accept that invitation, which I think you should, this is how you'll both look on the red carpet. <laughs> And I can't even see it. Give us a laugh. I can see it, and yeah. I still don't see the funny side of it. Yeah. Um, uh, no, well, see, you can you can read that into it with Tim's, uh, you know, olive branch there. But I, I saw it as a, uh, a yeah. as an act of friendship, if you like. Okay. Will you accept the invite? I, I'm already going. I'm going with my wife. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, you better ring him up and deny the invite. <laughs> All right. So when you take somebody on, as, as you did, Damo, uh, Luke Beveridge, uh, you've got to take people on who are smaller than you. That, you know, you can beat the cane. When you took on Barry Hall and you fell over, you've got to take on people <laughs> that you know you can cover. So this is Cameron Zuha in Bali. Now, he's 90 kilos up against 60 kilos. So, of course, Cam <laughs> Zuha is going to win that. And Kane doesn't think they can go on a, a pre-season <laughs> camp anyway. But uh, when Mark Howard offered up at his 60 kilo frame, to arm wrestle me, I knew that I could beat him quite comfortably. So that's where you go. You go with people you know you can beat, Damo. You don't set yourself too big of a challenge. So you just run that to show people a... you beat Mark Howard in an arm wrestle. Yeah, pretty yeah. much, yes. <laughs>
<laughs> what a strange little man. <laughs> he is a strange little man. Great lead in, TJ. Great, great lead in. So we get, we're fortunate enough here at Channel 9. We get catering in the morning. We all get bre breakfast, uh, normally yoghurt and fruit. <laughs> We all usually, once we finish, take our, our cups and we put them mm. in the bin. Yep. Nathan's will still be there right now. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. Uh, and <laughs> at Sportsbet, this is him. He's shaving, <laughs> oh, he's shaving before his segment and then watch afterwards. It's a long time what's, ago. What's this? Just, oh, he's oh, gross. Oh, no. That is gross. Is this in COVID times? There he is. Incredible <laughs> scenes, as you know. You've got to clean it up. Vacuuming and then... Uh, you are a strange little man, as TJ says, and then they hand yeah. you some, a cup of water, and look at you. You're swigging it like it's a glass of, <laughs> glass of red or something on our Mad Monday. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Mad Monday. What's wrong with you, little man? That's how you reckon that one for you. Hang on. Hang on. There's a few Western Bulldog supporters want to pull you up because uh, you've just gone, you look like something on our Mad Monday. Yeah. Yeah, but I'll get Nathan out on some waters <laughs> before I'm having to carry him out a minute moment oh, later. Right, people. OK. Then. I think it's probably best that you stick to these ones, Lordo, the, uh, the official mineral water there from our friends at Bilson's. Mm. Anyway, uh, all right, that wraps it up then. You got any more? It wasn't our best. No, no. no more. <laughs> Can you save that until we're off here? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> we'll do the frank assessment then, shall we?